Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. In this lesson, I am going to show you comparison instruction. Comparison instructions are used to compare our test resistor with 32 bit values. The two resistors can be compared together or one resistor with another value can be compared. There are four types of main compared instructions into our microcontroller and those four types of instructions are CMN that is a compare negated and then there is another that is the CMP a simple comparison between two instruction between two registers and the fourth one is the TEQ test for equality of 232 bit values and then there is a TST this is test bit of the 32 bit value so this means compare negate and this is a simple compare instruction and test for equivalent and the TST for test bit of 32 bit values test bit for 32 bit values so what does it mean let's see CMN the compare negate L let's first understand the compare instruction if we see the, if we say that the compare between two instruction Rn and N uh, but before that we have to also see the syntax of this one then I think you can understand it the syntax of this instruction is like this there is instruction then there is condition code and then there is Rn and capital N so you might notice here is that there is there is no s suffix so even there is no s suffix it will automatically update flag register automatically update flag register okay so we have here instruction condition rn and n and uh, we don't have any condition here so there is just instruction and those instructions are this one and then we have rn and n so in case let's say if we apply here cmp rn and n then what will happen here if we say the cmp rn and the capital n this means that it will subtract rn minus n okay however there will not be any assignment it will just subtract n from rn and according to this it will update flag register that is the program status register spsr and the cpsr once again i am telling you here that the comparison instruction does not actually write back to any registers or the memory location it only compares these two registers or these two numbers together and then according to this it only updates this flag registers and it don't do other than this in the same way the compare negate if we write here cmp rn and n in this case it adds rn plus n and as per the result of rn plus n it updates the flag register right so these two we can say are being tested with arithmetic operation and these two will be tested with the logical operation 
how the TEQ if I say here TEQ RN and the capital N in this case what it will do it will do RN and RN and the XOR of N okay the RN and the XOR of N according to this it will update flag register and then there is another instruction which is TST and then RN and N in this case it compares 32 bit values of these two uh, these two registers so that is simple and so it do RN and of capital N so according to as per the result of this RN and N it updates the status flag register that is SPSR and the CPSR SPSR and CPSR so in fact it's the current program status registers and the upper four values these upper four values will be updated which are negate z that's for zero and carry and overflow operation right so in any case this comparison either produce n flag uh, uh, either it raises n z c or v or all of them it depends on the instructions and the results into alu so let's try to understand this with the help of uh, let's try to understand this with the help of uh, a, a, a example where we can compare two registers and then we can see the final results how it comes so I'm CPSR here we have a CPSR which has these four values let's say 0 0 0 which are NZCV and we have here R0 is equal to 4 and R1 is equal to 4 and if I do CMP R0 and R1 in this case the result will be R0 minus R1 that will automatically raise the 0 flag equal to 1 so in this case the CPSR will be updated and the upper 4 bit will be 0 1 0 and the 0 and this is corresponding to Z and the similarly if I say to you R0 is equal to minus 4 and R1 is equal to 4 and if I say to you as the CMN R1 and R0 so in this case the result will be R1 plus R0 which will be automatically produce a 0 result and in this case also it will be 0 1 0 and 0 which is this is corresponding to 0 so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly